He's yeah. getting ready to kick off <laughs> season four of his Nat Geo Wild show, Monster Croc Wrangler. He's one of our favorite guests, and he brought some friends with him today. Mm -hmm. Matt, good to see you. Same, Kit. Thanks, guys, for having me out here again. Now, yeah. who's this guy? So this is a little alligator, a little American alligator. Mm -hmm. You can see they're quite placid. And this guy's sort of used to being handled. He's an education. Um, you said American life. alligator. Yeah. So he's just kicking it in like in Florida somewhere. Yeah, yeah correct. How correct. big will he get? So these guys will get up to about oh, 16, 17 foot as a male and a female. Only around he the 10 He didn't ten, say ten you could touch oh. it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, do it. <laughs> You're all right, mate. His little leg. Hey, little yeah. dude. So now, why is he biting right now? Like, why would he's, he... He's pretty calm. He's pretty chilled. He's used to being handled. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, the wild crocs that we're catching uh, mm -hmm. out in Australia, and, and that's a uh, different sort of... Why are you back up, kid? Well, he's good. Look at this right here. This is crazy. Oh, so that's Bone Cruncher. Oh. Bone Cruncher. Yeah, we got a name for him. Yeah, well, yeah. And what's going on there? Well, he's... You can see his jaw. So he's been in a bit of trouble. He's been fighting. He's had his bottom jaw ripped uh -huh. off by another crocodile. And he's also lost one of his eyes. So. Oh, no, he's been through a lot. Yeah, he has. Yeah. He's had a rough trot. So he, I've been working with him probably okay. six years. Okay, wonderful. He okay, there's me. another animal yeah, coming in. I am not in. good with yeah, these. No, we're oh, going to back up a little oh, bit. Just to oh, back no. Up I didn't know we were bringing all this okay. in. Yep, we're just going to back okay, up. Guys, I came to guest house. Yeah. No one told me we were going to do this. Come oh, back here, guys. Get on in there, get on in there, Snakes are This one's a boa. A boa? Yep. So these... You want to hold it? Sure. There you go. Just like this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, like go, Ross. 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 You know what? Sorry. This is cool. My dad will be so mad. <laughs> He's but, afraid. You know, the, the show sort of showcases a lot yeah. of wildlife. It's a conservation yeah. um, program behind it all. You know, we, we're losing animals and wild yeah. and um, uh, habitats just hand over fist, a lot of deforestation, right. all where South America, where these guys are from, just clearing the clearing the, the landscape and there's nowhere for these guys to live. So what can we do everyday life just to try and like be conscious and responsible for these animals? Pretty much, you just got to be aware of what's happening out there. And Where are you going, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he about to eat. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Come on, kid. Oh, it's their tongue. The tongue. Oh, wait, no, he's coming for me now. Oh, here you go, Kit. Okay, I'll here take this guy. This okay, take, put him back. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Hi, buddy. Thank you so much. What is this? It's a little hedgehog. A little I pygmy love hedgehog. You. Now, this is the cutest oh, little animal. I'm so happy. But, That's a cutie. You know, we're so lucky to have these animals in, you know, in our oh, world, in our environment. And it's so like important. Like little Sonic. Yeah. How do you get these animals to trust you? Like, what are, what are your skills with that? Oh, it's, it's time. But these guys, you know, these guys are educational Man, animals. Just, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, no, just, no you hold them. You, you're doing great. So cute. <laughs> but, Maybe you can give this to your daughter for her 16th birthday. Oh, they're not good pets, right? No, these no, guys no, hate no, to no. be in the wild. Yeah, ideally, you want to, you want to keep them in the wild. And, and, Absolutely. Be able to see him, and hands-on is still great education for kids. And you know, when when uh, you travel with these animals, and, and the kids really respect the hands-on. Like, how cute now, is that? Hey? Uh -huh. that's, 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 Scott, oh, you have the next this one, animal. No, this is your this one's turn. This a kikajou. Oh, honey kikajou. Bear. Kikajou. Yeah. Actually, so, this is really beautiful. A honey so bear. Cute. Yeah, what yeah, from called? South America as well. And they are also like in <laughs> in a lot of trouble with their habitat, getting destroyed and um, having nowhere to live. But look at those eyes. Mm, you said nowhere to live. Yeah, so they're losing, they're losing their homes, their, their place to live. Feel, feel how soft this little guy is. So what they'll do, they'll stick their head in a beehive mm -hmm. and uh, lick all the honey and get around all the honeycomb. But the bees can't sting because he's got... It's feel so that, right? dense. Feel how... Look at him eat that little Beautiful. banana y'all yeah. gave him. Uh, okay, you got the hedgehog? You the got hedgehog. it? You careful, got it? careful. So oh. wait, these guys are getting relocated. Hey. They're, these animals no, are getting... These ones here? Yeah. No, no, these ones are uh, for education, to show Wait, kids. I'm saying they're losing their habitat. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So where, where do they end that, up getting pushed to? They, they end up dying, pretty much. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So, so we're destroying wildlife and habitat, but there's, there's no tomorrow. And it's, That's terrible. But in saying that, the younger generation are starting to realise and really... They are. are so really awareness is the key. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.